We're going to continue with the same linear programming problem because the first step in sensitivity analysis is to solve the problem. So we're just gonna skip that step. If you remember, we had this region, okay. Our final answer was the 0.35 that had objective function value 27. Okay. Now we're going to discover how much I can change that for using sensitivity analysis. So instead of four, I'm gonna put an A as a variable until I can figure out what A is allowed to be. I'm then going to solve this for Y so that I can graph it. Okay. Now, the graph of this isoprofit line will fall going through the point 3, 5 and in between these two lines. What you want to do with sensitivity analysis is imagine that you are wiggling this line a little bit, turning it but letting it still stay in that point. I could wiggle it this way, in which in case I'd run into the line minus 5 thirds x plus 10. I could wiggle it that way, in which case I'd run into the line minus 2 thirds x plus 7. I don't want to wiggle it past those lines though. And the way to make sure that doesn't happen is to take the slope of my line, a over 3, and say it has to stay in between the slopes of these two lines, the ones that it would run into. So it has to be less than 5 thirds, but bigger than 2 thirds. Notice all three slopes were negative. I ignored the negative signs here. And you can do that since all three had them. It's just easier to solve inequalities without negative signs in the way. Now, in order to solve this, we need to get A alone. So I'm gonna multiply through by the number three, and I'm going to get a range for A. That is the answer to the question. Namely, I can change that coefficient of X in the objective function anywhere in this range, and it will not change the answer from the 0.35. It will, of course, change the value of the objective function since I'm changing the objective function. But the actual answer to the question would remain the same as long as we stay within that range.